Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the HK45 full-size handgun. I mentioned I acquired this in a trade a couple weeks ago. Very happy with it. I traded the Glock 21 and a Remington RM384, the HK45. No regrets there, good deal all around, but this is a nice handgun, no question about it. Love HK pistols on the pricey side, no doubt about that. The MSRP on this is $849. It's selling for over a grand in today's crazy, stupid market. But it does offer a, a lot of pistol. You know, for what you, what you get, it's it's pretty impressive. Now, it does come with two 10-round magazines, an additional back strap. HK says this is improved over the USP models. And one of the things that they make real nice is the ergonomics. This has somewhat of a P30 grip feel to it. You know, the texturing, it does not have interchangeable grip panels like the P30 models, but it does have an interchangeable back strap, a full pick rail on there, and two 10-round magazines. Now, they also make this a compact model, HK45C compact with a just under a four inch barrel, eight round magazines, the 10 round mags will fit in that, that one. This is considered full size. You're looking at a 4.5 inch barrel and you can see it is a full size pistol. No doubt about that. It does have the ambidextrous trigger guard magazine release. All right, people either love it or hate it. I don't mind it. You know, I, I had several guns that use that. And it's also fully ambidextrous. So not only is that ambidextrous, but so is the slide stop. Or slide release, however you want to say it. Left Lefties like that. It's a variant one. Now, if this was a P30 or a P2000, it would be considered a variant three, but with the USP and the HK45 models, it's a variant one. Double action, single action. So here we're looking at a single action trigger pull. You're looking at right around four and a quarter pounds with a reset right there. No problem with the trigger pull. It's actually really nice. Full size handgun, you get a great uh, feel it is, is really soft shooting you know they they say they use a reduced recoil system and i'm going to show the internal shortly but before we do that let's check out these sites three dot luminescent sites once charged by light they really glow like brighter than night sites like they just come out at you and that that's really nice but if it's not charged by light initially then you're not going to get that luminescent effect it also has a thumb safety decocker so here you can safely decock the gun by pushing that lever down if you want to carry it cocked and locked you can do that that will lock up the trigger but it will not lock up the slide four and 4.5 inch polygonal rifled barrel a lot of room in the trigger guard does have some some serrations up there here's a look at the business end of it polymer frame they call it enforced polymer frame that is is really nice hk does a great job with ergos they really do and i've often said that they're just too expensive every hk i've ever acquired was from trade so you know, <laughs> paying those outrageous prices with so many other choices out there is kind of crazy. One pound, 11 and a half ounces. We move that to just ounces, 27 and a half. Throw an empty mag on there, 31 and a quarter. Here we have a full mag, 10 rounds, 45. You're looking at 38 and three quarters. How about that carry, carry round? It's slipping off there. What's going on here? Okay, so just under 40 ounces. So, you know, you don't want a real light gun when you're talking about a full-size 45. Now, I know some people carry this. There's some, some people out there, they carry everything. You know, 1911s, Glock 17. Like, people carry large handguns, and many people would carry this. A little too hefty for my carry preference. It is a nice handgun. Shoots great. 
Love the way it fires. I took it out of the box and I was so pleased with the way it performed at the range. Let's go ahead and disassemble this. A little bit different. We already checked clear here. We'll do that again. All you're going to do is move the slide back to this point on the opposite side, that pin right there. You're going to push it out and remove it. And then remove the slide from the frame. Here you go. Lightweight polymer frame, double action, single action, variant one. Here we have a single recoil spring. HK puts that, that ring around there. I guess that's part of the recoil reduction system. And here's your 4.5 inch barrel. Fits kind of tight. Polygonal rifled barrel. All right, nice, nice look. Very well machined. No problem with that with HK, that's for sure. I've had several. And I have no complaints with the performance of the pistols. My complaint is with the price of the pistols. So hopefully that will change sometime in the future. Then we're just going to put this back in. We'll place the pin in there first. And then move the slide back. Find that sweet spot. There it is. And there it is. HK. 45 full size model 10 round magazines nice ergos nice shooting gun definitely a keeper you know a lot of people own the hk models they, they keep them for a real long time they like the quality of them uh, i i fall into that camp you know it's just how you are going to acquire them is the issue if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe